we, hold on, oh, I'm not used to cooking in front of people, all right. mukbang we are cooking for the first time ever yes and exclusive <laughs> it is we usually don't do this because if you had to see the setup that we've got going on here it's just exactly <laughs> doesn't really work too no well. so uh, it's a simple meal that we're making today but we made this the other week we showed snapchat and we also put it on instagram and everyone loved it so we thought let's it. make a video with it yes it's very simple what are we making today chef luca we are just making what is it it's toast with uh, homemade baked beans, um, avocado, and a bit of uh, coriander or cilantro as garnish. That's it. It's very, very simple. <laughs> very simple. Yeah. But this is an awesome meal. It tastes so good. It's vegan. It's fast. It's easy. It's cheap. It is... Filling, satiating, yep. delicious, hearty. And anyone can make it. Very, very exactly. simple. So we like easy, cheap, fast food. And that's what we're going to do today. So we have the rice cooker. And grab your food and eat with us. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Now we, hold on, oh, I'm not used to cooking I in know, front of I people. Know. All right, we're going to do one step at a time. So first thing we're going to do is just chop up some spring or uh, green. green onion. And do you want to talk about our onion situation while I chop? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so years ago, like everybody or most, a lot of people we were eating onion and garlic mm -hmm. and then we decided to refine our diet um, a couple of years ago and why did we decided to do that just to improve our digestion so we sort of uh, cut out uh, both onion and garlic um, for a while we've been using the green spring onion and uh, red onions yeah because Maybe. before that we were using regular brown onions in all of our cooking exactly and we just felt that those two were a bit better on our digestion than the brown ones, the brown ones were we've never really been into the white ones at all either have we no no yeah uh, just um, I'm gonna put a bit of water in the rice cooker Which, yeah, I'm gonna that? plug oh. it in <laughs> <laughs> Because we don't use oil, we just water saute. Are we exactly. on? Exactly. We're on. And then just chop those onions, going to pop them in. So even now I can smell them very strong, strong. on the sensors. Yeah. Uh, I find that a little too overpowering. Uh, and obviously the more you have, the more overpowering it is, yeah. and the less. Yeah, um, but just so. a little bit makes a difference. Now when- um, It is very flavorsome. It, it does, yeah, absolutely. It tastes good. And um, if you're following us on Snapchat and you see that we cook, we show what we eat regularly, um, we will use red onion in like soups and curries mm. and stir fries. I guess we decided to bring it back to add more flavor and creativity and variety to our meals. Um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, we're, we're on. on. Do we yeah. need Alberto to be on? Yes, so we're going, we cook out, we don't have a toaster, but we have a convection oven in the background there. And we can use that to cook our toast, our bread. And we had to leave it back there because obviously there's no room here and he's also a bit noisy. And he's hot too. He's it generates hot. a lot of heat, which is yeah. a bit uncomfortable when you're trying to eat. Exactly. So we've got the onions sauteing and this is uh, coriander or cilantro, depending what part of the world you're from. And this is what makes your baked beans gourmet. Yeah. Okay. Now, conversely to the onion being a bit strong and overpowering when you smell it, when it's chopped, the coriander and cil or cilantro, wow! Yeah. It just, the aroma is so it lovely. It fills, it. The, fills the room, doesn't it's it? It's beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Comment down below, what fresh herbs do you like to cook with? Yeah. Now, uh, what else can we talk about? Oh, what have we well, done we, over there? Uh, do you want to show the... Yeah, I was going to say with the garlic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, so we used to cook with garlic. Jeez, a lot of oh, garlic yes. we used to cook with. We've never been into the raw uh, form of it, although yeah. we, we have had it before, but we used to cook with it all the time. Yeah. So we cut that out and noticed that our digestion improved. Um, so we left it out. What we brought back is garlic powder. Now, not 100% garlic powder, but garlic powder when mixed in with um, herbs and spices in this 
perfect pinch, they call it. It's really, really good. <laughs> so we sprinkle this changer. on, you know, baked potatoes and put it in uh, most of our cooked meals. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Exactly. And when we're ordering out at a restaurant, we'll still request dishes to be prepared without garlic. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're happy to have onion. Yeah. Onto the beans. So we've just got a can of white beans, also known as cannellini beans or navy beans, depending again where you are in the world. And we have strained and rinsed them uh, with water to get rid of the excess sodium. This can alone has about 1800 milligrams of sodium. So if you didn't uh, rinse off the beans, that's a lot of um, more sodium than you really need yeah. and it just adds to water weight because sodium retains well, water. In we the always notice we wake up the next morning and we're a bit yeah, puffier puffy. in the face. If we haven't rinsed it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you know like one recipe that we put online a, a soup, a bean and vegetable soup, I added the water, the contents of the can in with the soup and that thickens it and obviously adds a lot of flavour but, but way too we much feel sodium. it the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so. particularly because we're having store-bought bread which is generally uh, higher in sodium, we don't need the excess from the can as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. But it's a personal preference, you know, if you have no problem with it and you want to use it, go for it. That's just how we're feeling. And we're going to use some diced tomatoes. And again, this is from a can and I know the last uh, recipes that we've posted, people are like, oh, you shouldn't be eating from a can, it's got all this. And it's very true. I mean, they're not, you know, it's not ideal. If you can buy BPA free, then that's obviously better than yeah, not. Yeah, like we actually sent emails to these companies. In fact, I think it's the same company. I think so. It is just asking, uh, do any of their products have BPA free lining? Mm -hmm. And as it turns out, you know, these ones did. So we're like, yeah. great. Yeah. But, but you do the best you can. Exactly. Yeah. And again, we're just trying to show really fast options. Yes, you can uh, soak your beans overnight and cook them from dry, but we ain't got time for that, most people don't have time for that, and we also find that we don't digest them the same as canned beans for some reason. Chopped tomatoes, you can, oh gosh, oh, oh bugger, I opened it. Um, yeah, you could chop up your tomatoes from fresh, or you could use a jar of tomato puree, puree. Um, but this is what we like to use, and we don't have a problem with it, so. Options. Options, options. exactly. All right, look at that. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Okay, so they're getting a little soft. So this is uh, store-bought bread, as we mentioned. It is multi-grain, uh, whole grain bread. Mm -hmm. um, and it's from a bakery. And we always find it's easier to buy vegan bread or cleaner bread from a bakery yeah, rather than like... The commercial you know, uh, pre-prepared yeah. breads, which a lot of the time are vegan. They've got... Yeah. Um, <gasps> uh, ooh, <laughs> We should have put a disclaimer, this is going to be a schmozzle right from the beginning because we've never done it before, so, so we're going to be cutting our teeth in this video. <laughs> we can only handle baked beans. Are you okay, by the way? Yeah, I'm okay. Just, it was hot and blah. So, alright, I'm going to um, cut in here. Cut I'm, in just, here? Okay. I'm going to... Oh no, hold on. I'm going to... Schmozzle. <laughs> we're going to put the tomatoes in with the... I have to stand up. I've got my daggy shorts on. Oh, bugger. I could always do it with a longer arm. You could. Yeah. You could. <laughs> I've put about, there's this much left. Okay, so, so it's a 400 gram can. Yeah. So that's probably 50 grams left. So you've used about 350 grams. Yeah, like maybe a bit more. Yeah, that's good. Continue. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we always like to buy whole grain bread whenever we can. It's just got the fiber in it, uh, whereas a lot of the fiber has been taken out with white refined flour. So fiber is your friend. You really need your diet to be as high in fiber as possible. It just helps with bowel movements, or with the health of your colon in terms of promoting friendly bacteria. So whole grain for the win every time. Yeah. Um, and we don't have grain flour products often. Like maximum once a week we'll have either bread or pasta uh, or noodles. Um, the reason being, again, it's not a whole food, and we prefer to centre our diet around predominantly whole uh, foods. But these are the type of processed plant foods that we like to eat. Whole grain uh, bread, pasta and noodles. Yeah, and they're fun to show on something exactly. like this kind of video. And um, again, it's just a really simple recipe that you can throw together. Now, technically, you don't have to, of course, make your own baked beans. No. You can buy store-bought vegan uh, baked beans. Exactly. And that's also fine. 
It makes but it even quicker again. It makes it even quicker again, exactly. But this is the cleaner version, the healthier version. There's no uh, oil in here, there's no preservatives, there's no added salt. So it's, and, and you can put all your favorite herbs and spices just to give it a nice flavor. So time to add some spices to our beans. They're cooking away. Can I give that to you? See, yeah, uh, it's so it's easy not... to burn yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to add, oh, you're going to have to mind my daddy shorts, <laughs> honestly. You can't really say them too much. You can't? They're no. brown. <laughs> Is some paprika, mild paprika. I love paprika. Do you want me to do it so that you can sit down? No, that's all right. No? Okay. Okay, so I'm put like, I don't know, a good, uh, Two teaspoons? Yeah. Yeah. And again, personal preference, put as much or as little as you like. A pinch of cayenne pepper. Absolute pinch. I mean, it depends how spicy you like it. We yeah. don't like it too spicy. Right, that much. And what do you have, what do you call it? Cayenne pepper? Cayenne pepper? Now, technically I say cayenne, but somebody picked me up on Snapchat. Apparently so it's cayenne. cayenne. Yeah. Maybe it's just an Australian thing. Maybe. Cayenne. <laughs> uh, the perfect pinch. I do like a decent sprinkle. So this is no uh, salt and just herbs and spices mixed with some garlic powder. Yeah. And then just some Italian mixed herbs. There's something in here that I don't like. Uh, I think it's called marjoram. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's like, I just put a tiny bit. Yeah. So we love some of the Italian herbs like basil and rosemary and oregano. Origamo. Are you doing origa origami? <laughs> origami with origami. origami, but not so much the marjoram. All right, I'll pop the the death lid on. I think. Oh, toast! Okay. All right, we're back. We burned we some toast. <laughs> we've been yapping. So we've got two loaves here. That's one. one. And we're just going to pause on the other one. Our baked beans. Ooh. Are ready? How good do they smell? Very good. Very good. Very good. Can I show you without killing myself? Oh, Let me try and Jeez, pepper. Yeah, watch out. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like every other baked bean you've ever seen, eh? <laughs> but it smells super good. So, and we have some avocados. Do you want me to clean them up? No, oh, you just scrape around. Okay. All right, let's go. Show you how it's done. You take your bread, put your leather on top, mash it with a fork. See, avocado is great instead of obviously butter. Uh, margarine is nasty stuff. It's just a healthier alternative for a bread spread. Absolutely. Okay. The healthiest plant fat that you can eat is from whole plant foods like avocados, nuts, and seeds, and coconuts. Look at that, look at that. Who doesn't want that? It's awesome, it's beautiful, simple. <sighs> so okay. Thank you. Jump in your mouth. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Not good. <laughs> uh -huh. What? What are you doing? Too hot, mate. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> it's boiling. Yeah, I just came out of the pot. Yeah, okay, so that's too hot. I said don't burn your mouth. I gave you the warning. I can't eat it without that's burning That's all my I mouth. can say. I can't take it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Very good. Are you going to sing your baked bean song? How's it going? Something like... Beans, yeah. beans. No. No, baked beans? Mm -hmm. Baked beans, good for the heart. Good for the heart, they make you fart. <laughs> <laughs> we used to sing that as kids. And I remember um, baked beans was one of my favourite mm. meals, especially in summertime. It'd be white bread, loaded with butter, uh, unfortunately, and canned baked beans, and that was my favorite sandwich. Yeah. A much I, healthier alternative. I used to eat it all the time too. Toast, butter, yeah. baked beans. This is way better. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. Right. We need another plate. That's no, okay. What do you want? I need some avo. 
Mm. So what are you guys eating? Share with us down below. Yes. Get that one. Do we need to? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, I don't. Oh, just a little bit. And of course, we're having lettuce uh, as we like to with our cooked meal. Just find it's refreshing, helps with digestion. This is iceberg. It's not our favorite. We prefer cos, romaine, or butterhead, but they're out of it at the moment. So yeah. do the best you can. That's mm -hmm. what we got. So we're going to talk about bread being very low in water content mm -hmm. and quite stodgy. So it can tend to slow your digestion down a little, slow your bowel movements down. Certainly does for us. So make sure you, or we make sure that we're very well hydrated before eating bread. So I had like two liters or quarts over um, before uh, starting this meal. And you had um, about a liter or a quart. Yeah. 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 I think just under it because I was doing more of the food prep and Luca had more time to drink. Here we go. <laughs> but what mm. we have noticed um, is how much better our digestion is, especially Luca. Like mm. I pretty much I could eat rocks previously yeah, yeah but to see him eat so much bread and we don't eat bread a lot but um, in, one in one sitting yeah <coughs> excuse me when we eat bread we eat bread yeah mm. he's unheard of like if you ate this years ago mm. you wouldn't have pooped for well you weren't pooping no you know, let alone eating bread you know mm. so yeah it's it's testimony to this lifestyle that you're able to sit down to so much bread today absolutely mm. Drink a lot of water, mm. way more than I used to. I mean, I drink almost seven liters or quarts a day. <laughs> That's um, a lot. I mean, it is hot here, but yeah, I'm still. a big guy. It's very hot here. I exercise, so it's warranted. Mm. But yeah, that high water, high fiber content of the food, high, but, you know, that makes it high carbohydrate and low in fat. Wow, that changed everything. Mm. Which also means that you can enjoy a meal like this that's, you know, a lot of bread and not feel totally destroyed by it. Mm. You know, it's because what you're doing the majority of the time. Mm. So one-off meals like this, no problem. Really delicious meal. Mm. You've got to try it if you haven't. Mm -hmm. Let us know down below, what is your favorite baked bean recipe? Do you do something interesting with your baked beans? Mm. What else could you do with them? We're going to find out when we read the <laughs> comments. <laughs> mm. Alright guys, that's it. Simple, easy to prepare dish. Hope you enjoyed it. We've got a lot of eating to do. We're not going to bore you by having you watch us eat the whole thing. No, that was going to be a very, very long video. So we'll cut it here. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. Watching. Don't forget to... Let us know what you're eating during this video. Yes. Also share your favorite baked bean recipe. Correct. Um, like, share and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And remember until next time that <laughs> going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do and it is cheap and easy and fast and delicious with simple food like this. Enjoy guys. See you next video. Bye. Her reaction is very interesting. It's got a lot of attention. Let's take a look.